Hello, I'm Rafael, a product manager at DigitalOcean, and today I'll show how to create a load balancer with just a few clicks. For this demonstration, I'll use these two backend droplets that I have already set up. Both are running a simple Nginx server with a static page. As we can see, one of them has an X-ray semi, and the other one has a mecha semi. Once the load balancer is set up, we should be able to access a single IP that will reach both of these droplets and distribute the calls among them, switching between both images. We start by going to the networking tab and clicking load balancers. As you can see, I do not have a load balancer created yet. So let's create one. We start by giving it a name. In this case, it'll be demo. And the next step is to choose the droplets that will receive the traffic from the load balancer. We can type their names here, and it will automatically show the ones that match. I could choose backend one, for example, and it will automatically set the region for that load balancer. Uh, but I can also choose uh, a tag. So for example, if I choose a tag front end, which is a tag that both droplets have, um, it will, it, it will show me that I have two droplets in NYC3 with that tag. Once, that, once that's done, we configure how the traffic will flow from the load balancer to the droplets. We can do that by adding forwarding rules. By default, we have a rule that will forward HTTP traffic received on the load balancer, uh, port 80, back to the droplets using the same protocol and the same port. For this demonstration, uh, this is sufficient, but you could create more rules for different protocols and ports. All we have to do now is to create, is click Create and wait until the load balancer is provisioned. We could also configure different algorithms, health checks, and other advanced options, but we will use the default settings for now. Everything I'm showing here can be done by using the API. We will leave the link to the documentation uh, on the video description. And very soon, we will add support for load balancers on the OCTL, our CLI tool, and also our Ruby and Golang wrapper libraries. You can also configure a load balancer for HTTPS. It can handle SSL loading and pass-through. To do that, you upload the TLS certificate to our system and create an HTTPS forwarding rule that will use it. We have tutorials explaining the whole process. Check them out on the community website. One important thing about using tags to select droplets is that it allows us to automatically detect changes and add or remove them uh, from a load balancer automatically. In our example, if I create a new droplet with the front-end tag, it would be automatically added to the load balancer and would start receiving uh, part of the traffic. Uh, the opposite would happen if we deleted a, a droplet or removed a tag from a droplet. It would automatically be removed from the pool and it would stop receiving update uh, traffic from the load balancer. Okay, now that the load balancer is provisioned, let's see what's inside by clicking on it. We can see that the droplets uh, that are part of it, they are still going through the health check phase, that's why they are marked as now. Uh, we can see the tag, uh, we can see uh, the, the IP address that is used for this load balancer. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll create a new tab and navigate to that IP. And we can see that one semi here. If we reload this page, we'll see the other semi. And they will keep cycling because we are using round robin algorithm. So we're going to see one semi and the other. This is a very short demonstration of how you can set up a load balancer with a few clicks. You can configure it to your specific needs and we prepared some tutorials to help you out. Just visit our community website and learn more. Thanks a lot and stay tuned for new updates and features in the, that are coming soon.